Scotland under 20 head coach John DL. John, history made tonight, you'd be really proud of that performance. Yeah, I think that's, that's the main word, just sitting up there at the back, it was more being like a spectator. You know, when guys are wanting to put their body on the line like that, even the guys at the bench, it was just a, a real dogged attitude about them tonight and you know, there was no way they were getting beat. The, the quality of the Scottish defence, the number of low chop tackles that were made, whether it was you know, 20 metres from the line, 2 metres from the line, to, uh, to restrict England to zero tries, I guess that would give you a lot of satisfaction. It did, Jen. I mean, it's a testament to the work that's been done with these guys uh, over a period now that there's a real connection with the age grade part now and we're starting to see guys coming out of you know, systems. We've had limited time with them. There's been two short camps and then into a big international week against England. So, you know, Ben's had limited time with them, but you know, Ben Fisher, defence coach, uh, he'll be a really proud man tonight because the guys gave everything and when they're willing to back each other up and, and, and buy into it, then, then we've got a chance in this game. It is just one result at the start of the championship, but does it say anything about the structures that you're talking about, the, the linkage between the academy, the BT Sport Academy, and, and the clubs in the Premiership? 100%. You know, just looking over the last few years, the whole age grade part uh, with Sean Lean, uh, just there's now a progression, there's, there's clear in that our principles all the way through. So, you know, when the guys are coming here, a lot of these guys, we talked a lot about it, they've played, uh, you know, seven or eight, nine, ten internationals together as, as guys as have grown up and uh, we knew we had a chance today and uh, you know, we've got to make sure that these results become you know, uh, something that we expect and not something that we're just going to be the, the guys who are here to make up the numbers. We've had a real belief about it all week and um, the guys have bought into everything. Their discipline's been excellent and they thoroughly deserve their win tonight. And, and lastly, John, four tries to nil. Um, the quality of the first try, the confidence from Blair Kinghorn to have a go from deep and then some of the other tries which were, were just about, we're going to score. Absolute determination. Yeah, outstanding. I mean, just, you know, as I say, the guys buying into the game plan and just backing each other up. A lot of that's you know, two tries there from, from you know, high phases and just a willingness to, to get on each other and back each other up and double up on their defenders. And, you know, fantastic tries. You know, it's a, and as you said, it's only a start. You know, we've got a huge turnaround uh, now. We'll be uh, into camp again on Sunday morning and uh, we'll be planning for Wales. We'll start looking at Wales now. And you know, there's no point having a good victory like this to then take our foot off and, and uh, start from here. So it's, it's building and we're going to build from now right to the end of June.